Kiora. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Snaps feature in Highlights. A snap is a screenshot of a learner's screen view or browsing activity. Teachers, learners, and parents love the Snaps feature of Highlights because it improves and encourages communication, collaboration, reflection, and critical thinking. There is a lot of benefit from one little piece of technology. In this video, you'll learn what a snap is, how to take a snap, where snaps are stored and how to view them, how to send learners feedback, and some ideas for using snaps in your teaching. A snap is a screenshot of a learner's browsing activity that captures the image of the learner's screen along with lots of great information. It's a way to document what learners are doing online. When you take a snap, the record is available to you in Highlights for seven days. You can save it for longer if you want by opting to email it to yourself. Each snap record includes things like the learner's name and whether the learner's activity was in collaboration with other learners or unique. A screenshot of the learner's screen when the snap was taken, a link to the actual website, the date and time of the activity recorded, and so much more. You can easily take snaps in the activity viewer of highlights. The activity viewer displays a near real-time overview of the current learner browser activity. It is divided into three windows, class activity, unique activity, and collaboration. Class activity lists all websites that all learners currently have open in their browsers. Collaboration lists all websites, including Google Docs, that two or more learners have open at the same time. Unique activity lists all websites that exactly one learner has open, highlighting learners who are exploring or working by themselves. To take a snap, hover your cursor over the learner activity that you want to document like this. A camera icon will appear. Click on the camera icon and that's it. Your snap is documented and ready for next steps. Now let's look at where snaps are stored and how to access them. Once you take a snap, its record is super easy to find. To view it, click on the Snaps tab in the Highlights menu here. This is where all of your snaps are stored for seven days. When you land on the Snaps page, you will see a bird's eye view of all the snaps that you've taken over the past seven days. Each snap in this view shows the date and time the snap was taken, the website address that was being viewed by the learner when the snap was taken, a screenshot of the learner's screen when the snap was taken, whether the snap relates to a single learner known as unique activity or relates to a group of learners known as collaboration. The option to delete a snap by clicking on the trash icon in the bottom right corner of the snap. To get a closer look at any of the snaps you've taken, click on the box that contains the snap that you want to view. This will open the snap in a pop-up window that gives you a little more detail about the snap. You'll see the same information we just mentioned, plus how long the snap will be available and the option to email yourself a copy of the snap, in case you want a permanent copy. If the snap relates to a group of learners, you can select on the learners using the drop-down list to the right of the learner name to see more information about the learner's browsing activity related to the snap. A timeline of the learner's recent browsing activity. All of the websites listed here are live links, so you can just click on them to see for yourself. Just keep in mind, you'll be taken to the websites as they are now, so they may have changed since the learner was active on them. A button you can click to send the learner feedback. You can send feedback about a snap directly to the learner. You can even get the option of attaching the snap to a message to give the learner concrete evidence of what you're talking about. To do this, click on the button that says Send Learner Feedback on the top right hand side of the snap record. A feedback pop-up will appear on the screen. Fill in the required information and send your message. You can send individualized feedback or select the template option. Additionally, you'll also be given the option of including the learner's activity timeline and current screen image in your feedback message, which will be emailed to the learner. This is a great way to give learners concrete, formative feedback. 
Have you ever been in a parent-teacher conference and wish you could show the parent exactly what their child is working on in class? With Snaps, that's a whole lot easier. You can save Snaps by emailing them to yourself and then show them later to the parent or guardian. It's a great way to document learner work and show parents how well their child is doing in your class and where they need a little extra support. Instead of the parent having to imagine what you're talking about, they can see their child's actual online activity. You can also use Snaps for learner reflection. By sending feedback through Snaps, learners will have a clearer picture of what they're doing well, what they need help on, and where they can do better. Even adults have a hard time reflecting on processes without actual examples. So the picture that a snap provides is great for getting anyone's brain into reflection mode. The more learners reflect on their work in progress, the more positive outcomes you'll see. If you have any questions, please reach out to us in the Hopper community. Thanks for watching.